Well, colleagues, as far as I understand, we are going to perform the first intrauterine surgery to remove a fetal sacrococcygeal teratoma that's ever been done in the country. We just need to decide on the method, intrauterine endoscopy or intrauterine open surgery. We'll take it out, remove it, and then sew it back up like in the American case. I think in our case, an open intrauterine intervention is better, just like it's practiced in America. I don't agree with Andre. I understand him as a neonatologist. He cares about the baby's health. Indeed, open intrauterine surgery will increase the baby's chance of being born healthy, but it also increases the risk to the mother. Uterine rupture, placental abruption, premature labor, and so on. You forgot about the third option. Hmm? We can terminate the pregnancy. Did I hear you correctly, Natalia? Whichever option we do decide, whether it's open or endoscopic, our patient is taking a huge risk, not only on the table, but... right up to the birth. The fetus will grow, the uterus will stretch. The seams could come apart at any time. Uh, excuse me. Hello? Oh, hi. Yeah. What's going on? Yes, uh, we are actually just now discussing the plan of operation. What's the matter? Yes, of course, I understand you. <laughs> it's Genna's wife. What Genna? Genna, my friend. The head of city health. From the beginning, this has been an anomaly. The fact that the hotel is located opposite the civil registry office and the fact that I suggested going to the hotel to celebrate our divorce, and most importantly, you said yes, and after that, such sex like we've never had. Never. Then you show up in my office right in the middle of a wedding discussion. <laughs> and then... An abnormality on our baby's coccyx. It's a girl, Gina. Lena. You need to get rid of the baby. You can't risk it. I can't. I love her already. We're together now. <laughs> well, then it must be some other hospital in any country in the world with such doctors who have much more experience. If it wasn't for Natalia Vladimirovna, we wouldn't have had the child or the problem, so it's on her to sort this now. It will be okay. Have you made a decision? What did you say? Intrauterine surgery? That's if we want to increase the chances for the baby. Then we made a decision. Sorry. Oh. First word in a month. You're going to Moscow after all? Try to stop me. All right. All right, let's just go together. How's the water? Well, how was our astronaut here? Hmm. Ready to fly or swim. Good girl. Let's count down from ten. Ten. Yeah. Nine. Good girl. Eight. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Six. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Darling, give me the mask. Uh huh? Good girl. Darling, give me an endotracheal tube. Come on, sunshine. Okay. People. How again I swapped such a woman for, my God, Eliza Rova. Just for 15 years difference. Alexander, as if you didn't do it yourself. I did, Rosalind, I did. And you know, man, I am very ashamed to belong to this tribe. So, Alexander Antolievich. Natalia, I'm covering for him. And he said, 
Let's go and wave his hand. Scalpel. Put it away. Getting the uterus out? Help me now. Look over there. Mm-hmm. Ultrasound. Let's have a look. There are no vessels here. The placenta is far away. This is the perfect spot. Right here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Put it away. Cutting. Laser scalpel and stitches straight away. Please. I need to be alone. Let's do the ultrasound. Uh-huh. Here, 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 here. Under your hand. Here we go. That's enough. Mm-hmm. Switching. Switching. Let's go. They're beautiful. Did you steal them from a room? Almost. I missed you. Me too. Everything went well. Anyway, this is an intermediate stage for now. If it goes according to plan between 36 and 38 weeks, we'll be doing a C-section. <sighs> Surgeons are usually ready to cut each other's throats for the chance of doing a specialized surgery, but you... you fought for us. Thank you very much. No, thank you, Lena. I usually teach patients how to live. It's kind of my job description. And your wife taught me a few things. Yeah, she's like that. She can. And thank you for persuading her to keep the baby. It wasn't me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had to send it to you. It's too early for thank yous anyway. When your daughter's born, then you can thank me. To think that this morning I wanted to close your center. She's about to be transferred to her room. Why don't you go sit with her until she wakes up? Excuse me, doctor. Why did you choose to fire Inga? Do you really want me to diagnose your fiance? Is it true that she left you to die? Why? She told another doctor that I was lying in the corridor on the floor. Well, then it's true. Lena, 
forgive me. Michael. Don't. I get it. It's such a beautiful way to say goodbye, huh? See, you're so sensitive. You understand everything. You feel everything. I really want a family. A house. I want kids. I want all that right now. And it seems to me you're not ready. Aren't you ashamed of lying so blatantly? But I see the way you look at Jenya. Hmm? I brought you something. My PA buys me this uh, wonderful brand of tea. Good tea. Ivan, good evening. This is Inga speaking. I've just sent you an interesting video related to additional earnings of the head of the city health department. As soon as you watch it, call me. I woke up crying for my love. I called to you and you appeared. You held me close so tenderly. You smiled and kissed away my tears. I feel like time is running out. Here you go. Please Thank you. You're welcome. When are you planning on leaving? Uh, when you say you, who do you mean? There was an occasion to get more familiar, so we did it. It was good, by the way. When are you leaving? I don't know, when I get myself ready. Shan. What do you want? Uh, me. You're smart. You are. You're also very beautiful. It's true. And now, in three minutes, I'll offer you some wine. I'll tell you later. Why not? Come on, stay over. And then I'll invite you to Moscow. And what's wrong with that? Nothing wrong. It's just that. I don't love you. See my scars. So please be gentle if you do. I wake up tired, I dream away. All colors fade, time steals our youth. I was too scared to say these words, but I can finally speak the truth. So I told him to let me do it, you know? I mean, what else could I have done? Yeah, right. Thank you. Gennady Nikolaevich? You are detained on suspicion of taking a bribe, Article 290. Part 6 of the Russian Criminal Code. Can I at least say goodbye to my wife? Please. 
in private, if you please. I'm not going to jump out of the window, am I? Not with my skills. Lena, please calm down. I'll be out of there before you're out of here. Or do you want to be the wife of a revolutionist? Gena. Then please come with me to Siberia. If I don't make it in time for the birth, name the baby, please. No, you come back and name it yourself, Gena. Lena. Gena. Good afternoon. It's like you're on fire. I'm here to see you. I need your professional opinion. Do you have a minute? Yes, in half an hour. Why do you ask? Is that court evidence or what? Profiles. On two potential donors who made it to the end. Hmm. And the mother? You know that there are no ideal candidates, but maybe some for a particular woman. You know the mommy. <laughs> Is that you? Yes. Let me take a look. See you later. Ah, I'm shocked too, Yuri Alexevich. You know how these things go. We need not to get stressed out. Yes, down to business. Exactly. Therefore, I have a question for you. Should I tear up your resignation? Or do you really want to go home? Actually, it's true, Alexey Yagorovich. It's true. If you don't mind, I'd like to give you some advice before I go. May I? Go ahead. If I were you, I'd fire Eliza Rover and make Bekmetyev a chief physician. You read my mind. I've told Genka that a hundred times. Farewell. Consider it done. Anything else? No, nothing. Goodbye. Take care. Olga! This is for you. Thank you. I know what you did for Jan, and I know about the medication. I know about the placebo, and it wasn't your choice to leave the program. How can I thank you? I don't need anything. I really hope that Jan will recover, and I will be able to safely say that my life was not for nothing. I love you. Don't think it's just because you saved my son's life. You're wonderful. You're brave, you are strong, sensitive. You know, after Taya's death, I saw women differently. And oh, I... It's just you're not thinking straight. Well, I am crazy about you. I know, I know that you have someone but if that someone, if he's not the one, if he can't give you happiness or a family, let me give you a call. Give me the happy news that I've been fired. Dance a boogie woogie on my grave. No. I'm surprised. I thought the instinct of self preservation was stronger than the thirst for revenge. Apparently, it's different for women. Oh, hey. Are you going to Elena? Yes, I'm worried that the stress might cause premature labor. 
Don't worry, this is the strongest woman I've ever met. After you, of course. After you started feeling guilty all the time. I don't feel like having lectures on psychoanalysis right now, Sigmund Alexevich. <laughs> Hold on. I have some more news. One, I'm leaving. And two, you'll be taking my place. No, I don't want to take your role. What do you mean you don't want to? You have to, Natalia. You have to. Come with me to Moscow. I have a big flat there and you won't have to do anything at all. No, this is wrong. Now what I'd most like to do is take you to Vladik. I was born there. I'll show you your grandmother's house. My brother lives there. <laughs> your uncle. No, this is all wrong. <laughs> but you're right. I have nothing, and I have nothing to offer you. I'm sorry, what did you say? Nothing. <laughs> I'll go with you. Hi. Hi. I... Uh... <sighs> no, you go ahead. I wanted to say goodbye. It would be logical to assume that you're going to Moscow. Yes. As you can see, the kingdom was too small. To be honest, about Gena, I didn't really expect that from you. He wanted to close the center. Is that what this is about? Come on. You still don't get it, do you? You know, I have loved two people in my life. My sweet little brother, because he couldn't go a minute without me, and... And? Your Olga has an admirer, the father of the boy whom she saved. Keep that in mind. I have to go. I will live? Not a month, not two, a lifetime? But a heart transplant is a very complicated operation. I you... know, I've read about it. But if it all works out, I'll be able to finish school, choose a university, become somebody. <laughs> Fall in love, get married, prove the string theory, or build a colony on Mars, anything. Because of you. It's a, it's a, it's a coincidence. The medication helped. We found a clinic in Germany. You're coming with us. Jan, honey. If you're afraid of surgery, I'm sure you're I'm daddy. not even afraid of death now. If she wanted to, she would have come by now. I just want you to come with us, like a family. That's very nice. But don't say it. After but, there's never anything good that follows. Promise me you'll think about it. Yeah. May I? Yeah, don't be shy. Okay, I'll try. Sit down. Coffee? No. A story. About donors. <clears throat> 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 
Men are all typically stud bulls by nature, but we have completely forgotten about our purpose to inseminate one to two hundred females in a lifetime. My wife had two children and doesn't want any more, and I am terribly frustrated that all my unique genes, my noble ancestors, my two higher educations, an appearance that's not, to put it bluntly, ordinary, are spent on just two people, so I donate sperm. And what's that? This is a blog from one of your donors. The other one... Are you gonna say he's a maniac? Really? Mm-hmm. He has the potential. Oh, like I don't understand. I asked you to make a psychological profile based on the available data. You stalked them on social media and found their names. What for? So you can make an informed decision. Which one? To give up on the idea? That you are, in fact, capable of finding a man who... A man who? Who will... walk this path with you from beginning to end. My husband didn't want to. He's weak. like an alcoholic or a junkie either a woman is like a drug I am a sex addict Before I met you, I uh, thought I couldn't stop. I want to be the father of your children. I don't know. Medicine has never been my dream. What's your dream? I haven't thought of it yet. Any hints, maybe? Please. Uh, excuse me, where are the stairs? This is faster. Mm -hmm. I I'm just afraid of confined spaces. But how do you manage without an elevator? I live on the ground floor. At work, I have escalators. I work at Pavlovsk. Really? I lived there when I was studying at the med school, but not in the palace. <laughs> Where do you need to go? I was sent to the examination room. So it's on this floor. You don't need to go anywhere. Come with us. <laughs> How long have you been claustrophobic? Oh, from birth, really. My mother was a flight attendant, and she kept on flying Hold until on a about second. five months into her pregnancy. Um, I'm just... Wait for me in the residence room. Basically, she flew until the fifth month of pregnancy. It's strictly forbidden. And then, I remember clearly, she told me she was so upset that she was forced to stop flying. Excuse me. Zhenya, start without me, okay? Yes, okay.
I see nothing's changed. I left him. Suitcase and bag in the car. Last night he threw me against the wall when I was holding Vika. It was a miracle that she... He will find us wherever we go, even if I stay with my friends. I have a house in the village, my parents' house. It's total wilderness. Will you go? I will. And you? Your shoelace is untied. Let me help you. Thank you very much. And how long have you had these swellings in veins? Um, yeah, my veins are like that. Uh, the swelling started, I think, about three days ago. Last night the pain was so bad in my legs, but now it's okay. The fetus is functioning normally, Sophia, so don't worry. Well, what do we have here? Everything okay? Yes. Not all abdominal pain means labor. What did you eat yesterday? <laughs> Smoked sausage. <laughs> About 200 grams. I know it's very bad for you. But I couldn't resist. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. All right. You have to answer for your actions, so you'll have to stay with us for a few days. Wipe okay. yourself off. You'll think next time. Thank you. Where? That's it. I'm done. So you don't see anything? I don't know. <laughs> Where are we going? Tell me. Right, Olga. It's a surprise. Please. To a restaurant? Well, please, no guessing. To the roof? Come on, please, seriously. Maybe you want to play. Olga! <laughs> All right, calm down. Olga, we're going somewhere, okay? You'll be blown away, okay? Just trust me, please. Okay, I'm serious. Shenya! The new girl is having a panic attack. She's suffocating. Panic attack? Yes, the room is really tiny. Told you no confined spaces. It's okay to be afraid to give birth. She's just upset. She'll calm down now. Is the room too small? Oh, yes. Hold on. You said your mom stopped flying. Do you know why? Yes. Deep vein thrombosis. <laughs> if Genya to the intensive care unit, vein ultrasound, lung x-ray, ECG, looks like a pulmonary embolism. Oh, yeah. Right now! Come on, come on, come on! Easy, easy, easy. Uh-huh. You're yeah. so creative, Vesanov. Let's go, let's go, let's go, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Where are we going? Can okay. I take it off? Take it off, go ahead. They keep calling in my head. All I see is. Olshanskaya, will you be my wife in about seven minutes? Um, I got the rings. What happened? What do you mean, what happened? New York happened. Olga. That mind-blowing sex. Then dancing at the House of Scientists. Then we moved in together, and suddenly it turned out I had a son. You accepted him, and, and I love you, Olga. On the bench back then, and you haven't replied back then, and then I hope... I hope you will say yes. And then Paris, and I don't know, some beach somewhere. And then we might have a, a boy or a girl. There will be difficulties, but we will survive everything, everything. Everything will be okay. I'll marry you, Ruslan Basanov. 
<laughs> I yeah. will marry you, oh. Rosalind Vasana. <laughs> but not at five minutes. Look, I've dreamed of this wedding my whole life, and I want my parents to be there. Our parents. Uh. Please, let's let's do this on Saturday. Saturday. Sure, let's do it then. Congratulations, Alexei Nikolaevich. She's very submassive. Not every obstetrician can recognize it. It's not me, it's the young blood over there. I tied her shoelace and I saw her veins. Plus hereditary varicose disease, plus leg pain the day before. Plus smoking for years. Blue lips, swollen veins, so there was no magic. Do all such amazing diagnoses in your department go under the name of no magic? We're trying. Is the saturation reduced? She's recovering. She's actually breathing better, calming down. We'll keep an eye on it. We're on anticoagulant therapy. Anyway, hopefully the clots will dissolve. Mm -hmm. But we should refer her to a vascular specialist. Thromboembolism on a Saturday is a special treat. It sure is. Does the patient know? Yes, they do. Hello. How are you? I read about pulmonary embolism. You're going to open my chest, stop my heart, and take out the blood clot. But before that, will you get my son out, please? You know what? I'm going to take your phone away. What kind of rubbish do you read online? We... we could both die. Both me and him. Yes? Mm -mm. I know. You only tell the truth to the relatives, but I don't have any relatives. I only have me for both of us. Sonechka. Believe me, these articles online have nothing to do with reality. You are stable. All you have to do is try not to move or panic, okay? We'll do the rest. Do we have a deal? I don't want to be without him. And he can't be without you. The thing is, we don't have other options. We'll just have to save you both. She has an embolism. It's a miracle she's still alive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The ultrasound tech saw a two centimeter flotation clot in her femur. They reckon the tip broke off first. So, one awkward movement and she's dead. Natalia Vladimirovna. Wash up, you'll be assisting. About Alexei Nikolaevich. He said you deserved it. Is it true that you don't want to be a doctor? It's a shame you're talented. Thank you. That's not a compliment. Talent is not what you want, but what others want from you. Vitals dropping. Let's intubate. Back. Okay. Call obstetrics. Run! Natalia, you can start a course, but be aware that she's had a lot of anticoagulants, and she will bleed very heavily. Where's the vascular specialist? Scalpel. God bless.
So why did you call me up on Saturday? To admire Natalia's surgical skills? Well, she just got here faster. It's not every day you see a vena cava filter being placed, so, uh... Actually, I have plans. Mm. Ruslan? Mm-hmm. I'm quitting. Don't try talk me out of it. If you let me go today, I'll say thank you. You're suggesting that by Monday I find a good resident? Why do you need to find anyone? It's true, there were problems, but everything is stable now. Really? Why not? You'll check him. Let him pee in a jar in front of you every day. Hmm. Just a hobby I've been dreaming of. I'm in. Let's get a conduit. Wait, I think he got it. Mm -hmm. Oh, got it. Ooh. Oh, hold the lift. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh Dina, hi. So, did you have the meeting yesterday? Yes, I did, but I wish I didn't. Yeah. You know, at first they fed me fairy tales about how everything would work out. That postpartum depression is no reason to abandon your child. Huh. So, that our court is fair, and if I'm not homeless, and if I'm not a drug addict or an alcoholic, it's going to be very difficult to take my child away from me, yes. even if one's three times a notary. So, wh wh what did she do? Don't ask. She got a photo from our party where I was a bit tipsy, and she used it to say that I had a drinking problem. She also told everyone about my relationship with Yaroslav Pavlovich. And it turned out I wasn't a good wife either. Hello. Hello. Wait, what does this have to do with you as a mother? Oh, don't worry. She went over that pretty well, too. She had a psychologist come in Oof. and explain to me in no uncertain terms that I'm not a good mother because I sent my foster child to the village to grandma's. And he also said that I was in a deep depression because of Semyon's death. Basically, I'm not capable of anything anymore. Tina, don't you want to go and get M M Mariska? I really want to go and get Marushka. I miss her very much. But I can't. Because this lawsuit is eating up all my money, so I've been working for weeks without a day off in order to save something. Dina Rafalovna, just wait a minute. Yeah. Alexander Natalovich. You're a very good man. A very good man. But I'll be fine. Oh! Evgeny from Obna. Yes? Do you know the name of Dina's village? Why do you want to know? Right, Pasha, listen carefully. Natalia gave you the first chance. This is the second. There won't be a third. So take tests regularly. If there is any admixture of any suspicious toxin in the fluid, or if anything goes missing from the treatment Not room... Not a single pill will be missing. I promise. Well done. Go pee. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Hi. Hello. What are you doing here? I'm here to see you. Let's go for a coffee. Mm -hmm. So, how's it going? I'm pregnant.
By whom? By the first person I bumped into, from the bar. I thought if I was going to do it, it would be perfect. <laughs> Congratulations. And you know, nothing is perfect, so take what you have and be grateful. Hmm. What about being happy? I don't know. I'm the happiest I've ever been. I'm getting married, and it turns out I'm going to be an uncle. Yes? When you opened the envelope with the DNA test results, weren't you happy? Okay, Nika, don't be difficult. Better go find your man from the bar. Bring him here to show us his genes. <laughs> I don't know where he is. <laughs> You're kidding me. Твои слова похожи на нож, они изрезали правду и ложь. Но голос забываю твой. Я не спал уже четыре дня, лишь засыпаю и вижу тебя. Но мое сердце остановит меня. Hi. Remember me? Six weeks ago? What were you drinking? Lots of tequila. There was a guy with you too. Strange one. Pasha, right? Yeah, that's right, Pasha. Does he ever come here? How do I find him? I have no idea. I've only seen him a few times. Thank you. For what? I didn't help. For the name. <laughs> Поэтому теперь оставь его Я уже не знаю, кто ты Мои молитвы, чтобы навсегда Пусть ангелы услышат сквозь сны Оставайся той, что ты была Все изменилось тебе Все это похоже на сон И в это сердце уже